Oh, what's going on, guys? It's the Beast Pokebar here, as always, coming at you guys with the next live Wi Fi battle on the channel. Now, today, guys, we have what? What is this? Luke versus Luke? Yeah, we're battling my friend Luke. I have quite a few friends named Luke. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's not that funny. But yeah, today we're gonna be battling Luke in a live OU battle. I made a new team that I have not used before. We're gonna go Music 7. Because lucky number seven is going to bring us to victory. Uh, today, guys, on the team, as you can see on the bottom, we have a Mega Charizard X, a Skarmory. We have a Volt Switch, you know, Scarfed Raikou, which is pretty cool. It's the one that I caught shiny. I gave it, like, Eevees and Eevees and everything. Uh, we got a Chansey, which I've never used before, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. We have a Manaphy, which is really cool. And we have Conk, Conk Helder, a.k.a. Cheeseburger. Yeah, it's, it's like a wrestling joke that my friend had, Shane had, and uh, it's not funny. Anyways, whatever. Let's see what he's got for us today. I'm going to have to snipe a pick. You know I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to snipe that pick. You know I want that pick. All right, today, yeah, my friend Luke is rocking the Azelf. Oh, Lucario. Rotom Wash. Ooh, Rotom Wash is going to be hard to deal with. Uh, Togekiss and a Noibat and Houndoom. I'd assume Houndoom's the Mega. So, judging off of that, I think that he's probably going to start with the Azelf, which means that Cheeseburger over here might be a good lead. Uh, so we'll do that. Azelf does indeed, or yeah, Azelf gets rocks. So I'd assume that that's how he's going to start it. I hope I brought it all six. I feel like I didn't bring all six. Okay, I did. Cool. So, Luke versus Luke. We have the all caps Luke, which I regret doing 100%. As soon as Pokemon Sun and Moon come out, am I right? Uh, I'm going to be changing changing my, my name. By the way, the announcement hasn't happened yet, so I don't know if Pokemon Sun and Moon are a real thing. I could have sounded like a big idiot right there. Um, yeah, because I know this is coming up after the announcement. Anyways, we predict his lead correctly, and like thinking about it now, I, yo, this, I don't know if this is a, a good start for us, really. But I'm just going to go for knockoff. Like, I don't... Yeah, Stealth Rocks. There we go. I called it. I called it. I called it like it is. I thought it was a good prediction. And honestly, I got to say, knockoff to Dre... Or to Mech Punch was uh, honestly 100% worth it. Not going to lie. It's going to have the Focus Sash literally get out of my way and catch this Mech Punch. We got Mach 8 Speeds, boy. We got Mach 8 Speeds. There we go. Taking down the Azelf. That's a really good turn one and two. Uh, yeah, that did really well, actually. We, like, got rid of that thing super fast. Now, I know Azelf isn't the most threatening Pokemon in the world, but it's nice to have a good lead like that. Nice to have a really good lead like that. I was gonna send in Togekill and... Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, God, this thing. Oh, God. Okay, so I'd assume it's gonna, like, try and paralyze, right? Paralyze and Air Slash? Well, Diego can handle that, can't he? Young Diego? He can take both of those things. And we can fire back with some pretty hard hits. He's going to go for Thunder Wave. I mean, I don't know why you would Thunder Wave a Conkelder. But it was definitely an option, you know. Air Slash. Ah, right, he's going to go. Yeah, that w yeah, Air Slash would have made more sense. <sighs> okay, so I think that we're going to just, like... I mean, what can he switch into to eat the Thunderbolt? He doesn't have anything else to eat it to. Like, I have no problem going with Thunderbolt. Like, anything's going to take a good amount of damage with this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Instead of, like, I do have Hidden Power Ice that I could use, but, like, his Noivern, I don't think it's going to want to eat it. Spin Circle. Yeah, this, this is going to eat it pretty well. It's definitely his best his best switch. Uh, I could have Volt Switch probably wanted a better move. But still getting off some really nice damage there. And, like, can this thing... I mean, Hydro Pump will hurt, won't it? Now, what exactly can you do Hydro... Oh, wait, we have Manaphy, but it's not... I'd like to get the safe switch into Manaphy. Which means that Chansey can basically wild out this thing completely... And we can get our own rocks up. Yeah, and if he wants to burn us, then he can burn us. It's all right by me. Uh, yeah, we'll get on to Young Chansey. Young, Young, Young Chansey. Uh, I believe we have Natural Cure, I, I hope. So that helps too. Also, I hope you guys like the intro. This should have my new intro on it, which is pretty sexy. Yummy, yummy, yum in my tum. That was a Hydro Pump, and that did nothing. So we get basically a free turn to set up our own rocks, or we could send out a Thunder Wave. Either one is a good idea. I'm going to set up the rocks considering that he has a bunch of flying types. Um, and he has... I mean, he's probably going to go into Lucario here, right? So maybe maybe Thunder Wave would have been a pretty good play. Having a paralyzed Lucario, yeah, that's, that's, that's sound. that nickname just kind of kind of like screams out Lucario. But yeah, Stealth Rocks having ours up is good uh, for sure. I, I want to, he's going to go for the fighting attack here, like, I know that, um, but when it comes to who can eat it, I don't know, it's kind of risky, I, I'm going to go into Skarmory here, 
Um, does Defog get rid of my own rocks? I always forget that. I think it does. And rocks really hurt our Charizard. So I'm going to try and get rid of our rocks. He's going to throw in the close combat, and ouch, that's going to do damage, but I, I don't think it's going to be a two hit. No, it's not. That's good. That's all we care about, because now we can defog. Um, I feel like I just wasted a turn giving up rocks. I don't know if it gets rid of our rocks. I forget completely. So if I did, my bad with the misplay right there. You know, I'm still learning. I think I have a decent battle. Like, I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm above average, but, you know, I still make mistakes. You know, I'm still learning. Uh, I could I could counter, though. No, I don't want to risk it. I'm going to defog. Like, Charizard is kind of a good... Ice Punch? That's going to do less, honestly. Yeah. That's uh, that's going to do a good amount less, really. Defog is going to go up, and... Yeah, I think I got rid of... His Evasion fail, which literally means nothing to me. Yeah, around... Oh, wait! Maybe it didn't! I don't know. We'll see. I Again, you know, I try. Uh, so, I'm, I'm going to say if we live... Like, I should roost. I don't know if he's going to Ice Punch or Close Combat. He's going to Close Combat. I'm actually alright now that the rocks are gone and his Rock Setter is gone. Uh, like, it's fine by me. Uh, Conkledor can kind of kill this thing with a Mac Punch, especially after the defense drops. Um, but I'm going to go for an Ice Punch. Because, you, you watch, he's going to switch into A... The... He's going to switch into one of his Flying Types. Watch, he's gonna switch into one of his flying types, and he's gonna unexpectedly eat this ice punch. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it's gonna happen, right? It's gonna happen. We have, you know, I think I'm also, a, you know, I'm not trying to sound all cocky. I know I kind of suck. I didn't even make playoffs NPA season one. I mean, I should have had the fifth best overall record, but that's, you know, my salt to the NPA season one is behind us now. NPA season two is really cool because we have a drive and that. Um, also, the draft is going on this Sunday, so you guys should tune into that on twitch.tv slash adrive. Anyways, um, oh my god, he stayed in, and he went for Iron Tail. What the, what? <laughs> I was going to say I'm a good predictor, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I froze this Lucario, what do I do now? Uh, well, you know what, if we freeze Lucario, should we, should we go for the, what's stopping Manaphy from sweeping? Nothing. Manaphy come through. Nothing is stopping Manaphy from sweeping. Manaphy is a powerhouse. I have just recently been blessed with, like, the, the knowledge of Manaphy and everything that it does. And dear god, Manaphy is a monster. Now, if he wakes up, we might, we probably will be dead. Um, or not wakes up, if he gets unthawed. But Tail Glow is definitely the play here. We gotta pray and hope, and hope and pray that, uh, he stays frozen. Because then Manaphy can, uh, put in the works. We're gonna get off our Tail Glow. Okay, get off the Tail Glow. There we go. Bim, 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 bim. Uh, I see that he's- yes! Yes, yes, yes. I see he's bringing a lot of lower tier Pokemon, so that's really cool, like Noivern, Mega Houndoom. Uh, but I, I think, literally at this point, I think Manaphy actually has it sealed up. I can go for whatever. I'll just throw out a Scald, no point in not. Um, no point in doing two, I don't want to risk it. We already can probably one-hit everything, I'd assume. This is what- this is- Manaphy is a monster, really it is. Manaphy is a really good late game sweeper. It's just one of the best setup Pokemon in the game. Um, water, as you guys know, is a really good typing. Uh, just solo water. It has it's weak to like Grass and Electric, which are very uncommon for the most part. Especially Grass, like there's what Mega Venusaur, Breloom, and Superior. Like those are like the main Grass Pokemon. I think I could be forgetting some. Uh, there's a good amount of Electric type Pokemon that people use in OU. I know Zapdos isn't in OU, but people use it. Obviously, Rotom. Um, Raikou. Uh, there, there's a good amount. But, like, Manaphy just covers everything really well, especially with that energy ball. That helps out a ton. So, yeah, this thing is actually a insane sweeper. Uh, next up, I mean, like, at, he has three Pokemon left, and they're all weak to one of our attacks, whether it be Ice Beam or Scald. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. We set up Manaphy as a good win condition, which is good. He's going to go into his Toga kill, and it's, he should have renamed it Toga Dead, because I don't think it's going to be doing much killing today. And let's just try Scarfed. It is! Ooh! This changes the game! This changes the game. That's not a 2-hit kill. Um, so if we can break through the flinch this turn, we can take him out. I, I, I think, maybe. Um, but, oh, this, that really changes the game. That makes it more exciting. I'm not going to lie. And we break through, though. Okay, that's good. And now, I think at this point, his Noivern can outspeed us, probably. Um, but dude, he did a good job, uh, actually, that was really smart going into that. I don't know why he wasted the Rotom, the Rotom really didn't do anything. He might not have expected us to have the... 
Uh, might not have expected us to have the energy ball. I know it's a really weird move when it comes to a water type. Uh, but yeah, Manaphy does indeed get energy ball, so if you guys are ever battling one, watch out for that. No point in switching out our Manaphy at this point. He can go for his Boom Burst. He can take us out. Uh, I'm not really phased by it. Our... I think it's Focus Blast, doesn't it? Okay. So Chansey is still probably our best bet, but I'm going to go into Diego, knowing that I have Hidden Power Ice. And he probably... I think... Oh, God. Did I power save this thing to have Hidden Power Ice? That's the question. That's something that we all gotta know, guys. Does this thing have Hidden Power Ice? I, I, I'm, I vaguely remember putting Hidden Power Ice on it. I don't know, let's see. Come on! Gary needs a new pair of shoes, boys. Gary needs a new pair of- YES! Hidden Power Ice, baby. Nice. I always forget my Hidden Powers. It's the one thing I can, like, almost never remember. Uh, now at this point, there's no point in switching out to Reserve the Raikou. I will keep him in. Although, if he wants to set up, that's kinda scary. But still, I think our... Chance he can handle this if worse comes to worse. So I'm just going to stay in the Power Ice again. Uh, I don't want to risk my win trying to preserve like the 4-0 or whatever. 5-0. Who did we lose? I forget. Skarmory? We lost Skarmory. He's going to go for the Protect. Okay. Uh, you know, it's whatever. I am. Ch I could have switched out there, I guess. I, I'll just stay in. I mean, even if he wants to set up the Sun, like that really, all that does is kind of help Charizard. <laughs> Um, I mean, a Flare Blitz, I'm pretty sure will most likely be able to take this thing out. But yeah, there's definitely no point at all. Um, especially when Conkledor can... We didn't lose Conkledor, did we? No, we didn't. Yeah, Conkledor can Mach Punch this, actually, and I think that would be game. So yeah, we should have a nice 4-0 here, actually, yeah. That should be how it goes. Yeah, so again, I, I know some of you guys might be like, why would you get rid of Raikou? Oh, wait, we lost Manaphy, though, I forgot. So, 3-0. Um, yes, I did let the Raikou go down when I could have switched in. But, you know, there's times like that where he could have made a really bold prediction. Uh, he could have gotten, like, a Fire Blast crit, which would have killed us, I think. Uh, even with the Assault Fest. You know, it's it's not, it's not always worth going for those, like, when you have the win uh, confirmed, basically. Like, I'd say we had it confirmed with Mach Punch in the back. There's no point in risking it and making a stupid move. Um, and then, like, somehow winning and coming back purely on luck. Uh, again, that, that, okay, that doesn't kill. He's going for the Dark Pulse again. I guess he might not have... What does he have, like... If he has Nasty Plot, why isn't he... I don't know. I mean, he probably might have just expected to lose there. I don't know. Uh, but that should be the game right there. Manaphy did a really good job. Uh, unfortunately, that, that, uh... That, that, uh, Togekiss actually got us. Scarf Togekiss, that thing's really good. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's gonna be the battle, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like. Um, and, you know, that's the video. Uh, check out the French Mudkip. Uh, I put his YouTube link in the description. He made the intro. So, yeah, it's really good, I know. And also check out Luke's, um, both of his links. He has his Twitch and his Twitter. So, check those out as well. And that's gonna be the video, guys. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like. I already said that. So, without any further ado, let the outro roll!